Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of the video, we're doing a big like wardrobe declutter and organization. So the thing is about this video is that I recorded it over a number of months and my intention was to do like my entire wardrobe from start to finish, but it ended up just being way too big a video and it was really, really hard to try and get the time to go through my wardrobe while also getting the time to set up to record going through my wardrobe. So I basically decided to do everything that I had up until the point that I stopped recording. So yeah, basically I plan to then also do this video again, kind of once every few months, because I always enjoy seeing people declutter their like declutter their space and organize it's the type of video I enjoy so my plan is to kind of redo the video in a few months I also am planning to get rid of all my not get rid of all my put away all my summer stuff and take down my autumn stuff so I might do a video about that I just don't want to do them too close together and because they're a little bit too similar but yeah I um, just wanted to give that quick little preface and I hope you enjoy so the plan of action is I haven't yet actually recorded the intro for this video but you will have just watched the intro for this video so what I'm gonna do is I at least I at least have one plastic box underneath my bed that has some crap in it but nothing really important so I'm going to empty that out and my first call of action is to go through all of my jumpers and some slightly heavier dresses and my real winter jumpers roll them up and put them in the box under my bed and I'm going to label the box I also might even get a piece of paper it might seem a bit extreme but get a piece of paper and actually write down what's in the box so if I'm actually looking for something specific it is June sorry it's July when I'm recording this so I'm hoping that I won't need that heavier stuff over the summer months but like I, sweaters I'll keep out because I wear them all the time but like knit jumpers I'm going to put away and then I'm also going to throw out as I go so this is kind of day one I imagine this will be done over many many weeks because I do want to do a big clear out but I also want to be sensible with my clear out so first protocol is jumpers and I'll probably do a mixture of recording and time lapse if I already mentioned this in the intro recording and time lapse and also the lighting is going to be a bit weird probably at least now because I'll probably do it on my phone and because I'm going to be in the other room which doesn't get as much light as this room which will make it slight if you're directly facing the window which is really annoying so I'm just quickly filming this on my phone because my camera is actually upstairs and I am about to record a YouTube video but first stop is that my mom actually went through our shoe cupboard so we have the cupboard under our stairs for our shoes and she went through our shoe cupboard and has pulled out some stuff so first step I'm gonna do is throw out some shoes so I pretty much already know what shoes out of this pile I am going to throw out so I'm just gonna show you them so I'm going to throw out these wig brogues I got these in a charity shop for like two pounds a few years ago and I looked them up they're worth like well over a hundred but they're just a teensy bit too small and because I'm not in the office they're just not the sort of shoes that I'm wearing these days then I'm also going to throw out these shoes, also another charity shop purchase, as is most, most of my clothes and shoes. Um, I actually bought these for my mum. They are a size 39. I don't know what size that is, but they were either too small or too big for her, but I just thought they were the coolest shoes ever. Um, so they're being thrown out because they still have their label on them. Um, I'm going to see, well, my mum mentioned that my sister Neve, who's coming home in a few weeks, they might fit her. So I don't know whether she'll want to take them to the charity shops or wait until Neve comes home. Then I'm going to throw out these. I think these were my first pair of like, actual heels when I was like 14. Um, um, I don't wear heels that often and these are pretty scuffed up and I have white heels. I don't really think I need these black heels plus they're a bit more like they're not quite the style anymore. I'm going to keep these wee boots because I like them. I'm going to keep these wee heels because I think these, this colour, they need a bit of a clean. I think this colour kind of can be worn with anything that black would be worn with. It's kind of like a silvery gold. I'm going to keep these but I really need to wear them more often because they're quite cute. The only thing is just, this is very low on your foot which is a bit weird so I am going to keep them because I think they'd be nice for work like being a bit more dressy but I don't wear them too often. I think I'm going to keep, oh these are attached. I think I'm going to keep these. I do like them. I don't wear them too often but I do like the wood. It's kind of cool, so I think I'll keep these. These, I'm actually not sure if these are mine. Um, these are my wedding shoes from my eldest sister's wedding. And um, these are size five. I think mine are probably a size four. These were quite uncomfortable, to be honest. And the style is also just not something that I would wear ever in my normal life. And obviously, my sisters have now left them at home for three or four years. So, not sure if these are my ones or my sister's ones, but I think these are going to go out. And then the final pair of shoes, and again, these aren't actually my ones. These are my sister's ones, but I'm, my version are upstairs, and I'm going to keep them. They are my wedding shoes from my middle sisters wedding um, and I quite like these. The white I find goes really well with everything so that's all the shoes that I'm going to go through today because they're the stuff that my mum had pulled out of the shoe cupboard but like I said this is going to be just like loads of clips of me going through different sections and areas of my wardrobe and throwing stuff out. Ignoring how rough I look I'm going to throw out some clothes so I've actually taken my big pile of work stuff that was in the top of my wardrobe and I'm just going to be savage because I'm not going back to work in an office environment for like at least three months and longer if it goes the way I expect it will and I will have enough stuff to make do and if I don't have enough stuff to make do I can buy more I can buy smart I used to always buy work stuff whereas I think now when I go back to the workplace if I do and when I do in months um, I'm gonna really cut down my work wardrobe um, and just have staples so I'm gonna do that and then I also just grab like the far like third of my wardrobe so I have two I have a lot of clothes I I'll show you what I threw. Go. I'll show you what I take. Took. Basically, the reason why I've taken stuff out is because um, my nephew is is over 
at the minute when I'm recording this video when he is sleeping in the room that I keep my clothes in. So I have taken this section onwards, which is a lot of like skirts and then like summer tops. And I'm going to go through those. So I'm not really going through with like an aim to throw a certain amount of stuff out. I'm just gonna try and like actually concentrate. So this pile, oh my gosh, I forgot my tripod was on bendy legs. This pile here, this is work stuff. And this pile here is my normal clothes. So the normal clothes pile will not reduce significantly, but I suspect the work pile will. There's also a lot of stuff that doesn't fit me anymore. And I think most of those skirts are gonna go with their A no longer my style and be they don't fit me. So the only thing is, is my nephew is gonna be going to bed soon. So I'm gonna need to move this all into my room, which is going to make my room momentarily messy, but I will persevere. So for no reason whatsoever, I tried to move this whole thing thinking it would be an easier space. I would like to try and move it to try film against that wall, but unnecessary. So I'm gonna take all my clothes in here. I'm not, I'm not gonna try them on unless they're the blouse I can try on. But my plan is for this video is that I am going to try on all the stuff I'm keeping and try on all the stuff I'm throwing out. I'm just gonna bring it all in here now to sort it and I'll probably sort it on for yeah, maybe the bed. You'll find out. So my keep pile is bigger than my throw out pile. Um, I took a clip there and I, it obviously is in, you'll have seen it, but I'll quickly run through the stuff that I'm keeping. So white floral blouse, keeping lots of three floral dresses, fourth floral dress, patterned shirts, plain black blouse, a bodycon skirt, which I wasn't sure about, but I actually thought it was probably better to keep it into throw out because it's, it's versatile. Patterned dresses, two patterned tops, I do not think this is called a sari, so apologies if it is not, but my mum brought this back from India. I don't know what it's called, but I'm keeping it. Don't really wear it, like it's not really my style, but it was a gift, so it's staying. Plain black like lace blouse, a dress which I really like, but definitely verges on too tight. A cutely striped top, more of a casual work, but I just wouldn't wear this in regular life, which is why it's a work shirt. Pattern blouse and a floral blouse. A lot of that stuff I've actually had, like since I started work, which was almost five years ago. So like all of them are like, some of them are like eights and tens, and I wear like a size six, but they're loose blouses so like they are too big on me but it doesn't really matter. The pattern for stuff that I'm pretty sure I'm throwing out is this patterned bodycon skirt. This blouse which actually the button on it is broken but it's see-through and the sleeves are too bell. They like just get wet all the time. These trousers just not really my style anymore. Another pair of work trousers actually I have two pairs of navy trousers and these aren't my style anymore. I had a pair of white work trousers which were never my size. Going to try on but might keep are these like black trousers which are like work trouser material but almost like a skinny link, a skinny jean or like a legging. They're Kind of weird they're not that flattering but they're good to own and i don't own other black work trousers at the minute and then also these navy suit trousers so i'm gonna throw those in the keep pile for now but ideally actually i'd probably like to replace them but i'm not gonna throw them out because they're good to have and i have a lot of all my blouses can go with either of those pairs of trousers so that's that and i'm now gonna move on to this hanging up clothes <laughs> So I'm gonna move now on to the pile of clothes, which are just like my normal clothes, so the stuff that's actually in my everyday wardrobe, whereas that stuff was up at the top of my wardrobe and has been there for the last like six months. So I'm actually surprised I kept so much of it, but that is actually like my core work wardrobe. And um, so I'm gonna do the normal stuff now. I think probably most of my tops and all I'll keep, but there's definitely a few skirts in there which are going, um, and I'll just go through on a case by case basis. I kind of think like I would love to put stuff away, but I feel like stuff's away, you don't wear it, so it either needs to be like prominent or it's out. Is what how I'm gonna try and approach it. Show you what I'm throwing out first of all, almost definitely. So this one is actually a friend's, so I'm pretty sure it's a friend's. Oh, I think it is a friend's. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is my friend's, so I need to text her before I throw it out, but I have had it for a long time. Sugar. Then this top here, it's like a crop top. I like it, I just don't wear it. This top is actually from a video you've probably seen already. It's too big for me and um, probably going to go on it. This top, just not flattering and I don't wear it. These three summer tops have been in my wardrobe before. One of them has its label on, I bought it two years ago. The other two I've had since 2014 and I don't wear them. None, oh, it's a little hanger. None of these skirts fit me. Well, sorry, some of them might fit me, but they don't fit me in a way that I like. And like the leather skirts are just like, they're not in style. So I'll try, I'm gonna try everything on, but I'm pretty sure these are all leaving me. Two other skirts, which I'll show you. And I think those skirts um, are gonna go to my work skirt section. I do like them. And like, I've actually worn one of them as like a Christmas outfit because it's a nice green skirt. They actually both came from a friend. So this green skirt here is nice. 
And this skirt here is nice, although it's a bit tight. So these could be nice work skirts. Then I have one other skirt, which is actually relatively new, like less than a year old. The minute it doesn't fit me, I'm gonna keep it for a little while and hopefully it will fit me. They're probably the only like mini skirt that I'm keeping. This top I'm gonna throw out. I really only own this top because I used it for a cropping video, um, a storm video. This top, I think I'm gonna crop. It just says thanks a bunch and it's cute, but it's way too long. So it'll either become a pajama t-shirt, which I didn't think of until now, or I'm gonna crop it. I also think I'm gonna throw out this top. It is not flattering on my chest. I have a wider chest and it, this sort of top is just not flattering. And I'll try it on, but I think it's gonna go. I'm not gonna go through what I'm keeping, but this top, all of all of this, all of this other stuff. So it's a few weeks after my last trip and I thought that, you know, I have a wee bit of time here. Um, and I thought I would go through my dresses because when I'm filming this, I actually have two things that I'm going to that have been making me look through my dresses. Um, I'm sick of more like my event dresses, but there's definitely a few dresses, a few, I have the hiccups, a few dresses in my wardrobe I don't need. And um, <laughs> okay, hiccups are gone. Either because they're work ones or because I just don't wear them. And the dress section of my wardrobe is like one specific long section and it's starting to get super cramped. I'm gonna grab them all now and then just kind of fire rapid through them. So I thought I'd actually show you one of the big problems with my dress section which is this section here is it my short horse can't fit so i have to like get off and like <laughs> kind of use the momentum of pulling the stuff off the hanger so i actually have genuinely been looking i think my dad said it was called like a two-step or a two-stepper or something basically like a small step like a library shelf step i can keep in this room i really like and it is a pain to be fair so i'm gonna haul out the rest of these dresses and then show you so i ended up pulling out the actual insert for the dresses themselves but i will show you First pile, second pile, third pile, fourth pile, fifth pile. So um, I do actually think what, one thing I'm gonna do is any of my more dressy options, I'm gonna move over here. Why do I always get so confused with distance? Oh, it's it's like reverse. Here. <laughs> here where like there's more like formal dresses and stuff now in fairness that part of the wardrobe is also bulging there's some stuff here that like not quite occasion wear it's slightly more occasion wear and then other stuff which is work stuff and i also thought that it was a good idea a while back to move all my skirts into that long section but actually i think it's just unnecessary clutter there is room for them in there because i used to have a load of crap down at the bottom whereas now i don't so the long skirts should be fine so i'm gonna send a podcast yes, in the background and i'm gonna keep it on quiet and hope that it's fine because i can't be bothered pausing every time i stop and start so let's get stuck in so i'm gonna keep this maxi dress for not me this pinafore is gonna go up into my work stuff. Off. This long skirt is going to go down into my other section. Keeping this, keeping this, and keeping this, keeping this. Both of these will probably very shortly go into my workwear, but I haven't had the chance to wear them yet, so I'm going to keep them down for now. Keeping this, and both of these are going to go into my occasion wear. This jumpsuit, these are both jumpsuits. This jumpsuit's a little bit on the tight side, but not going to give up on it just yet. I think I'm going to put this jumpsuit into like my occasion wear. Keeping this, keeping this for the skirt section, for the skirt section. I think I should put my dungarees in my other room because I keep forgetting that I own them. And keeping this. Keeping this denim dress. Spoiler suit, I'm gonna keep the put in occasion wear, but like, I don't know what size I was when I wore this because it doesn't fit me now. In with my skirts. Keeping. Honestly, this dress isn't that flattering, so I think I'm gonna put it with my work stuff. Keeping. I think it has the stain on it. Long skirt. So I do feel like I'm not throwing a lot of stuff out, but the reason for that is because a lot of this stuff, specifically dresses, because I used to only really draw wear dresses for work. So a lot of this stuff is really specifically for work. So I don't want to throw it out yet because I'm not in the office at the minute. So I'm like, I'm like forward planning. So I actually don't think I'm going to throw out a lot from this category. I'm at least organizing it. So this is going to go to work. This is going to go to work. This is going to go to work. This jumpsuit I'm going to keep. This I'm going to keep. I could wear it to work. It's a little more retro. Occasion wear. Again, I'm going to take this jumpsuit into my jeans area. This I'm going to keep. This I'm going to keep. Oh, I have. I thought I'd lost the belt. This I'm going to keep, but honestly, I could probably throw it out for work. This I'm going to keep. This I might actually throw out. I don't wear these sides of skirt that often, to be honest. And this boiler suit, again, I'm going to move into like my jeans everyday section. So this week in a four dress, um, I might throw out, but I'm going to try on. This dress, I'm going to keep. This dress, I'm honestly going to throw out. It could be a work dress, but it's actually just not flattering. Could I wear it as some sort of like fancy jacket? And this maxi dress, I'm going to keep. So obviously there's like the strings that are inbuilt because of the dress, but honestly, I feel like I actually could wear this as an over shirt like to work and it could like make an outfit look kind of funky. Plus my office is always cold. So I actually am gonna keep this. I do love it. It just, it ties in a weird way that makes my like waist and hips look huge. And I just don't, it just doesn't work. <laughs> What was my bloody thought? I'm going to tidy today with bloody clothes. I'm going to wear a pair of shoes instead. Okay, for me? Look at your mother. God damn it! I think you love it 
so that is that done. I've tried to do like a bit of a colour gradient. Um, I do probably want to fold this up on a tanger because it's a bit long. But yeah, so that's all of the dresses that I'm keeping for like normal wear. I'm going to put on my skirts up. There are a pile of dresses here that are like going out dresses. A pile of hair that are going out things, but hopefully they'll fit in other parts of the wardrobe. So as you saw, I obviously got the skirts in there and my more like party dresses in that section. I'm actually gonna move my school blazer downstairs. So hello, I am back again, again, one second later for you, again, a few weeks later for me. And I'm here to throw out some more clothes. So as you can see from my attire, it is significantly colder than when I started this video in like June or July. It is only mid late August, but the weather has really taken a turn. So I'm gonna go through all my tops. So I've already done, so I did a video where I went through my trousers, like actually like, a year ago, maybe not a year ago, but like quite a few months ago. And then in this like edition, I have gone through my dresses and I still have sorted out like my jumpers. So I'm gonna go through all my tops and t-shirts. Um, I will show you as well. I got new organization things for my trainers and I have a bin bag of trainers to throw out and a bin, oh, sorry, a bin bag of shoes to throw out and a bin bag of clothes to throw out at the minute. So yeah, I'm just going to get stuck into all of my tops. I kind of, because I've been doing this video so like iteratively, I almost like don't know when the video is going to end. I'll just continue to push through. So one thing that I kind of want to try and be aware of that I have taken all my tops out is that I don't want to like bitter and throw summer stuff out just because the summer weather is not currently here. I am going to take a look and think like if I didn't wear it during like the hottest weather will I wear it at all next summer and I think to be honest maybe not quite yet but I don't really wear t-shirts when I'm working from home because I like to wear like a sweater I like to be warmer. So like I did with all of my winter stuff a few months ago where I put in a box under my bed I think I'm going to within the next few weeks get a box for my summer stuff and put it under my bed as well. I feel like it's a little bit harder to establish something as like summer stuff because obviously I could wear like a t-shirt in the winter with a jacket or with a jumper or with a shirt and the same with like a dress you can winter stuff up whereas winter stuff is winter stuff and um, like if it's too warm to wear it's too warm to wear it but like today like I have one of my wee tank tops on you know underneath this and then if I were to be inside and be too warm I can like use it as a layer in piece so I am going to try and not to just like chuck out everything that is a summer top just because it's raining outside but equally I might and I also t-shirts just aren't they're not my thing. I don't wear them. I prefer like tops, if even. Like I just don't wear them, so I think I'm just gonna chop them out to be honest. So I will show you out this I I will show you out. I will show you the stuff I'm throwing out and then I have a few things that are maybes but will likely be going out but also could maybe go up to my work wardrobe. So first thing is just this wee top that a friend gave me. It's quite cute, it's just I don't wear it. Then this top of mine, which I used to really like, it says Yas on it but I'm just not really like a graphic tee, a graphic tee type of person. I don't really wear patterns to be honest. Then this top, I'm not going to throw out. This top is a friend of mine, so I need to check with her what she wants to done with it. I have had it for two years, but I'm still not going to throw it out. Then this top, which is from Topshop, which now I'm looking at it, it might go back. I think it's gonna go in the maybe pile. Again, I just don't wear it that much, but actually it's a nice work top and it's a nice kind of like, it's comfortable, but it's like slightly dressier when just also just being a top you can throw on. I'm gonna throw out this top again, just because it's a graphic t-shirt that I don't really wear. Um, I'm gonna throw out this top that my aunt gave me, which actually is quite cute. I think it's inside out at the minute, but you get the point. It's kind of like a crochet top, a high neck. But again, it's just not something I gravitate towards. Then I'm gonna throw out, again, this might go in the maybe. It's just this black top with this pattern on it. I'll try on the top to see how the top sits. But again, I just like, I don't really know what outfit I'd be wearing that I would be just wearing a in black top. Then I'm gonna throw out this Shein top um, which my sister gave me. I like it but it weirdly just makes my chest look really large and then it's also slightly too cropped so I feel like I'm always pulling it up and pulling it down so it just isn't really my style. And this wee top I was gonna throw out but actually I've just changed my mind and I'm gonna keep. It's just this wee strappy top from um, Topshop but I'm actually just gonna keep it for like pyjama wear basically because it's nice for that. And then this wee top which I actually love this top but I just I never wear it and same thing I feel like these sorts of top kind of make me look large chested and I like they're just they don't do the most for me then in my pile of maybes I have the two tops I just showed you the black top and then the pink one then I have the stuff is all falling off the hanger 
this little top that just like knots in the front. I just need to try it on and see what it looks like on. Then this like silk shirt, which is from River Island. I think I got this in a charity shop. Again, I just I never wear this. So I need to see what I think I, I think what it looks like on and then see if it would be worth keeping for a work shirt, but it's just not quite my style. This wee top here, which I have from Topshop, which again, I really like. It's like these flowy sleeves and this ruffly bottom, but it is quite cropped and it's lost a lot of its whiteness. I think it's maybe just past its day. Then this green shirt, which is like perfectly fine. I got it when I was dressing up as a sunflower two years ago for Halloween. I don't know when or why I really would wear this. It's perfectly good to top, but I just don't know when I would wear it. And then this shirt, which is like, I think it's just called like a granddad collar. And again, like I don't mind it, but it's not quite my style. So I'll try it on and see if it would do me for work. I think this is why I kept this because I could wear it under like a pinafore dress but again like the occasion it's not really needed. Then I put this top in the maybe pile and actually I'm not sure why because I put its counter for it which is the same top in another colour in the yes pile which are just these like completely plain tops from Primark. I think it's just that like yes I have them but do I wear them? Probably not. So again in the maybe. Now this cardigan from Daisy Street is also in the maybe pile so I actually gave out the giveaway the blue and pink one version that I had which my sister gave me because it was too big and the buttons on it were starting to go just because like they're cheaply made and it was a few years old. So I might keep this one. The only problem is my chest pops the buttons, but I could wear this. I can wear it on top of another top. So actually, I think I'm gonna keep this just for virtue that it is only, I've only had it a few months, but it does, I do make the buttons gape at the chest. So I kind of have to wear it as an open cardigan, which takes away the point slightly. Then this top is also a maybe. Um, it's a bodysuit, but with like a turtleneck. It's actually quite cool. I've only worn it like once or twice, just because I never, I'm really sure like, well, it's a turtleneck, but it's a tank top sort of thing, but it's quite cute for a certain occasion. I'm just never sure what the occasion is. Then and the next two tops, again, tops that I'm probably likely to keep. It's just this top that says California. It's just like a stripy, supersized top. And again, I feel like it probably is something that I should just keep around the house to have in the house. But again, it's just not really like my style necessarily. And then this wee top, which I love, but these sleeves are kind of scratchy. I don't wear it that often, but I might keep it for dressing up an outfit. Yes, they need to go in the air fryer. So as you can see, I've just put everything away and I've kind of organized it as season almost. So I have like, we like vest tops, strappy tops, summer tops, and I have like t-shirts and like shirts, and then I have fill sleeve shirts and like tops. I have organized my dresses by color now and I actually really like that. So I will maybe do, they need to go in the air fryer, they're not cooked. Um, and then maybe I'll do like a gradient by season. <laughs> Last probably like October, I swapped the bottom and the top wrong so that my sweaters and all became more accessible so that like working from home and stuff, does that make sense? I actually think on the top wrong makes stuff easier to get at, but potentially not when it's, when it's well organized. So I think my heavier stuff will probably come down. My lighter stuff will go up. And then I have a few wee things here that they just fell off the hangers that they were on. So I will slot them in, ignore that mess down the bottom. So that pile of stuff needs to go up. There, there, which is my work clothes. That section is totally empty at the minute, so I could definitely utilize that. I'd be curious to know if underbed storage boxes would fit in there, slash be able to take the weight, because that actually might be somewhere useful to store like my summer tops and stuff, we'll see. But yeah, so I need to just add some stuff back up. Once I fix the hanger, like my shirts, I just need to get you know, some of my dad's hangers for shirts so that it properly takes the shoulders. And then yeah, that stuff is gonna go up there because it's work stuff that I won't need until I'm back in an office setting. And if some other stuff like that, it's sweats and stuff that I borrowed from Kyle's house over the months that actually belong to his sisters or like some stuff for the charity shop and just some random bits and pieces. So that is all I'm gonna do for today. So I don't actually have the stuff to show you, but a quick little insert to basically explain that in the midst of decluttering my wardrobe and organizing my wardrobe, I got two bin bags worth of clothes from Kyle's cousin who was clearing out her wardrobe. So I have gone through everything. Um, I've actually just put it away. I didn't really get a chance to show. I took some videos on my phone, so I'll maybe like insert them those just to give an idea of the amount of clothes that I got but I got loads and loads of really good stuff and um, I'm actually really into the idea of like swapping clothes before sending them down to the charity shop because they make their way to the charity shop anyway I know that my friends and people that I know like we're always like buying clothes trying to find things and like Kyle's sister took some of my stuff I took some of Kyle's cousin's stuff Molly's gonna take a look at my stuff and they just have a wee bit of a circular motion around as opposed to like just having a wardrobe that is just your own and not sharing 
I got loads of really good stuff. I um, was very, very lucky to get the amount of stuff that I did. I have gone through and organized it. So I've put some work wear up and some winter wear up. I'm not, I don't know when this video is gonna be posted, but at this point I'm not accepting that my winter wear is out. So I'm just doing some organization. So I thought I would just show you what I'm doing, being that this is a video all about my wardrobe. So these are some lighter jumpers that I'm gonna keep down. So I'm just gonna hang those off. This is a pile of stuff that needs ironed. I'm really, really bad at ironing, but I might try it. These are all like my occasion dresses. And to be honest, it was a wee bit of a declutter. So I actually think they might fit hanging off because I used to not be able to fit half them. Then these are some stuff that I need to take down and get like a zip fix. This is some spare material just for like sewing. And then I want to rearrange where I put my pajamas because I think those, that section of my wardrobe could be put to better use. And then this is a box of makeup that I need to donate to a women's shelter. Um, I need to just have a specific look around. I do have an idea of one, but a lot of places actually don't take open makeup. And then because of COVID, then some places stopped again. So I need to do just a wee bit of research as to where I could actually donate it. That's a box that I can use. So I'm gonna do all that and yeah. Um, I do need to reorganize my stuff because of the amount of stuff that I got. So I actually reorganized like my gym wear and stuff yesterday, which I should have shown, but I forgot. So yeah, that's my update. It's uh, in the midst of throwing out all these clothes. I got more, although I do have this bag has two bags worth of stuff in it to go to the charity shop. And my boot, my boot has two bags worth of stuff to go into the charity shop. So I'm definitely getting rid of my own stuff as well. So that obviously was the video. And like I mentioned at the end of the video, I did get a big influx of clothes from Kylie's cousin. So I am planning to, like I said at the start of the video, kind of do this type of video again in a few months where I kind of go through bit by bit and like organize and give stuff away to friends and give stuff away to charity and even just see what I have in my wardrobe to kind of like re-inspire my wardrobe. So I know the video is a little bit outdated at this point. I make a lot of references to summer clothes and it is now October, but I just kept putting off because I kept intending to go back to the video. But when I started editing the video, it was almost an hour and a half long. So I think it was a good choice to stop where I stopped and I will come back to it and organize a little bit more. And I can just kind of keep doing that style of video if that's something you enjoy. And let me know anything else you'd like to see and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.